Welcome back to Vision of Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use one of these limes to make this a kamikaze cocktail. But first, this. All right, so let's get into it. Now, the word kamikaze is Japanese and it means divine wind. Now, the kamikaze cocktail is thought to have been invented in an American naval base after World War II and that it became popular in the 70s and 80s with shooter culture. Now, according to historian David Wandrick, who's a cocktail historian, the kamikaze shot first appeared in 1976 and it may also have been the original shooter cocktail. Now, there's another story that this cocktail was created by Richard Stein, who was the proprietor of Richard's Lounge in Lakewood, New Jersey in the 1970s. So let's get into making this cocktail for you. So the first thing we need, of course, is a mixing glass. And we're going to use a little bit of Finlandia vodka here. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, the original recipe did call for an ounce and a half, but I want my cocktail to be a little stronger. All right, so the next thing, of course, we need is a little bit of an orange liqueur. And for that, I'm going to use some triple sec. You could use Contro, but I prefer triple sec in flavor and in consistency. And again, your personal preferences will be what drives all of that. The one thing I suggest is you have to remember that some orange carousels are dyed and will change the appearance of your drink. Again, depending on what you're looking for, it's up to you. Now we're gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters. And of course, no single kamikaze would be useful without lime juice. And we're gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters. And ideally, if you can get fresh lime juice or fresh citrus juice for your cocktail, that's the best thing to do. In my opinion, of course. I find that it actually gives you better flavoring. So we're gonna throw a little bit of ice in here and we're gonna give this a shake. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to use a chilled martini glass specifically for this cocktail. And I'm going to fine strain this because I'm going to keep all the little ice chips out. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. And you know what? The recipe normally calls for a lime wedge. For a garnish but what i'm going to use is a little bit of a desiccated blood orange because it just looks gorgeous and it's a nice change in the color let's take a look it smells really good very citrusy looks a bit like a daiquiri actually looks a lot like a daiquiri oh it's very good, you can taste the vodka, you can taste the citrus of the triple sec and the lime juice. Mmm, good cocktail. I can see why it was a popular shooter drink. If you think I should use different ingredients, leave a comment down below for me. But what I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification right beside it. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. But if you didn't like this video and you don't like vodka and you don't like citrus cocktails, hit the thumbs down button twice. And I'll see you next time. and that it somehow became popular in the 70s and 80s. Now, according to Wondrich, David Wondrich, 
on an American naval base after World War II, and it became, and, I, fuck, I didn't like that. You didn't, I didn't, it seemed a little, eh, little base in Japan after World War II, and that it became popular in the 70s and 80s. Now, according to cocktail histo- ah, juice. 